Prescription. The doctor first makes a diagnosis. In this example, the doctor has diagnosed a lower respiratory tract infection. So, the doctor prescribes antibiotics. The prescription can be sent to the pharmacy, either digitally or physically. In this example, the dosage on the prescription is one tablet ciprofloxacin, 500 mg twice a day for 7 days. So, the patient needs 14 tablets in total. As you can see, the doctor puts the exact number of tablets on the prescription. Registration. The pharmacy technician registers the ciprofloxacin in the pharmacy information system. Based on the patient's health insurance, is Sando selected as preferred brand? In this system, the technician can also see if this medicine of this brand is in stock and how much of this medicine is in stock. Now she registers 14 tablets in the system with a dosage of two times a day, one tablet. Then the dosage check appears on the screen where the indication must be selected. The next step is the medication check to see if this medicine is safe to use for this patient. The interaction in this case is ciprofloxacin with calcium that the patient is also using. The system presents the technician three options. Temporary stop of the calcium during the antibiotic use, replace the ciprofloxacin or the calcium, and instruct the patient to take ciprofloxacin two hours before or after the calcium. The technician chooses the third option and inf to inform the patient. Then the registration process is complete. The labels, medication information and if applicable an invoice are printed automatically. Preparing. The prescribed label in this example was Sando. The technician takes the Sando package of ciprofloxacin from the stock. This package must be scanned to check if the correct medication is taken from the stock. The technician opens now the package. This package consists of two blisters of 10 tablets, so 20 tablets in total. To get 14 tablets, 4 tablets need to be cut off from the second blister. The six remaining tablets go back into the original package. To indicate that the package has been opened, it is an elastic band is put on the package. The 14 tablets are placed in an empty box from the pharmacy. On this box, the technician puts the label that was printed out of the pharmacy information system. In most cases, a blister inside the box will have an expiration date and a batch number. Occasionally, this may not be the case. In the event of a recall or an issue with the medication, the FMD scan the technician performed can be used to trace which patients received which batch. Label. The label on the box contains the date of issue, name and date of birth of the patient, the dosage, important usage instructions, the indication, name of the medicine, and 
the amount of the tablets. Four eyes principle. Before dispensing to the patient, the four eyes principle applies, which means another pharmacy technician performs a second check. This second check includes the following. Correct patient identification, a prescription check, and in case of an open box, the correct number of tablets in the box. Dispensing. After this second check, the medication can be dispensed to the patient. The patient receives instruction at the counter from the pharmacy technician and also gets additional printed information when the patient receives this medicine for the first time. The printed information leaflet also includes the interaction that the patient needs to be aware of. In this case, to take ciprofloxacin either two hours before or two hours after the calcium. Stock of medicine. The box with the remaining tablets is returned to the stock with a mark, the elastic band. In this way, everyone can see that this box has been opened. To give an impression, the stock of the medication looks like this in the Netherlands. Final check. The final check of the prescription is performed digitally by the pharmacist. Insurance. The health insurer will be charged for 14 tablets of ciprofloxacin, the delivery costs and sometimes consultation costs. In this example, the patient receives a consultation from the technician because it is the patient's first dispensing of ciprofloxacin. So the total costs are 23 euros and 44 cents.